Hey friends, so it is Monday. It is the start of a brand new week. And I know that some of us might be looking at it like, oh man, Monday. Hmm. But that's not how I look at Mondays at all. I look at Mondays as though they are brand new. And since a Monday starts a work week for me, a lot of times I think, what is the Lord going to do with me this week? Because you know, a lot of times things stack one on top of each other. And so the things I do today on Monday are going to help me have a better Friday, a better Tuesday, a better whatever, you know? And so they kind of stack on top of each other. And so the things I do today, I know are going to have payoffs later or lessons to be learned later for the good or for the bad. Sometimes it's time management for sure. Ever, ever been there? Is that relatable at all? Sometimes it's learning how to better handle your schedule. Mm -hmm. So today, our devotion in Thy Will Be Done is called, I Was Only Trying to Help. Exodus 2, 12 and 15 say, Moses struck down the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. When Pharaoh heard of it, he sought out to kill Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh. Do you guys know that story? Are you guys familiar with that? If you need to get caught up, go and check out Exodus um, Exodus 2, okay? That'll give you a little bit more of the full story. All right. So now, Moses lived in a palace as the prince of Egypt, but he knew he was a Hebrew. He cared about the suffering of his people. When an Egyptian was beating a Hebrew slave, Moses thought he had a right to kill the Egyptian. Things did not turn out well. The Hebrews turned against him. Pharaoh turned against him. The prince of Egypt ended up as a fugitive, fleeing for his life and hiding in a foreign land. What went wrong? Even when we have the best of intentions, when we seem to be making our best choices for the best reasons, it goes all wrong. As St. Paul said, for I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want to do, I keep doing. Trying harder just does not do it. Facing our failings, we daily remember our baptism when we were claimed and cleansed by God for Jesus' sake to drown the old self in repentance and rejoice when the new self is brought out, renewed for a life of love and service. We can't do it ourselves, yet the victory is ours. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And that's Romans 7 verse 25. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, teach us to depend on your love and forgiveness. Send the Holy Spirit so that we would go the way you would have us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, my friends, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.